strike force of Dream and so on and so forth. This is the icon of the MMA. So Fedor Milenko will fight at fight night at 21st of June. Республики Башкортостан, таки боксер Рука один, представляющий спортивный клуб Абсолют из Уфы, Азиз. Азиз Кади, from Уфа, he is a kickboxer. He represents the Absolute Fight Club. Now let's see his opponent. Nikita Merkulov is a Thai Muay Thai fighter. He is from Moscow. Aziz Kadyev makes his debut in professional MMA. And uh, Nikita Merkulov has a record 1-0. He has a victory. In a fight versus Artem Nikitin, he won a unanimous decision. Alexander Sidorin is a referee in Octagon, so let's do it, gentlemen. The very first fight of our brilliant tournament. Aziz Kadi versus Nikita Mirkulov. 25 years old Aziz Kadiev, 26 years old Nikita Mirkulov. Aziz Kadiev is a bit taller than his opponent, so let's see it. A kickboxer versus a Muay Thai fighter. Well, we can just say that uh, the fight probably will go in stance. But maybe some of them will surprise his opponent and uh, so, uh, show us some things in grappling or wrestling. So that is very interesting. Aziz Kadiev versus Nikita Mirkulov. Aziz Kadiev is uh, in the black trunks. Aziz takes the center of the octagon and he tries to check his opponent's defense with a left high kick and a very good low kick from the right. Nice answer by Nikita Mirkulov. Oh, very good knee by Aziz Kadiev. Nikita Mirkulov wanted to make a takedown, but Aziz Kadiev threw a counter punch and he hit his opponent's face. But we see that Nikita Mirkulov proceeds fighting and he's not stunned, he's not in a knockdown. so. The strike wasn't that strong. Nice exchange. And we see that Aziz Kadyev is eager to hit his opponent with the left leg, with the left high kick. All right, let's see what the opponents are going to show us in clinch. Nice takedown, but Aziz Kadyev takes his opponent's neck. And uh, Nikita Mirkulov has to release his neck. And, uh, and he does it. And now we have a guard position. Nikita Merkulov does the absolutely right thing. He puts his opponent's head just right to the fence. Uses his elbow to stop his opponent. Nikita Merkulov uses both of his hands, especially the left. Hits his opponent's body and just straight to the head. I remind you that in a fight, fight night tournament, elbows are allowed, and uh, I think that is a very good thing. Oh, by the way, uh, this uh, beautiful woman, her name is Anna. Uh, she is the mom of one of the fighters, Viktor Kichigin, who is going to enter this cage uh, later on. And uh, uh, Anna Kichigina is uh, a promoter of his uh, of her children and uh, is a coach of the children so to say and the very first fan of course and we see that Ufa Arena wants Aziz Kadif to make something in, the, in this defense uh, I, I remind you that in Ufa Arena uh, the hockey matches are held and uh, uh, to be more concrete Salawat Yulaev uh, who was the semi-finalist of the Gagarin Cup uh, was playing here, but unfortunately for the Ufa fans, uh, they lost in the semi-final of Gagarin Cup to Magnitogorsky uh, Metalurg, and uh, later on Metalurg won the Gagarin Cup, uh, be uh, beating CSK in the final. Okay, let's get back to the octagon, and we see that Nikita Mirkulov 
continues to stay on top. Uh, he shows a very good control, uses both of his hands. He makes very good strikes to the body and then he hits his opponent's head. So he does everything, everything properly. And uh, the main thing, I guess, here is the control. And uh, Aziz Kadif can do anything about that, but only referees stop the bout. And uh, it will be preceded in the stands, but still a very good episode for Nikita Mirkulov. And uh, Aziz Kadir has to do something, he has to respond somehow. Okay, let's see it. One minute and 20 seconds to go in the first round. Aziz Kadif pushes his opponent to the fence. Nice, nice combination with the leg kicks. Nikita makes a good takedown again. And we see that Aziz Kadiv doesn't have good wrestling skills because Nikita Merkulov uh, didn't do anything special. He just stepped forward and he grabbed his opponent and uh, took him to the canvas. Nothing more. But still, Aziz Kadiv, I guess, has to improve his wrestling skills and especially his takedown defense skills. Another good takedown by Nikita Mirkulov, and uh, so far I don't see how Aziz Kadiv can make something, can respond, can respond, I'm sorry. The audience insists that Aziz Kadiv has to work, has to push forward, has to strike his opponent, so, but I think Aziz Kadiv is a bit tired, he's exhausted. Good footwork by Nikita Mirkulov. Continues yes, to move. Ten seconds to go in the first round. Nice low kick by Aziz Kadiv. And again, again, very good counter movement by Nikita Mirkulov. And still, he takes the first round. That's no doubt about that. Nikita Mirkulov, I, I remind you that he's a kickboxer and a Thai boxer. He is from Moscow. And so Moscovite still leads this fight. Several takedowns, a very good control. So that's why we have to say that Nikita Merkulov takes this round. Let's see it again. A very good takedown by Nikita Merkulov, and we see that Aziz Kadiv tried to grab his opponent's neck, but Nikita Merkulov successfully released it and then took the side control and then took the guard control. So that was pretty easy for Nikita Merkulov and Aziz Kadiv, unfortunately for the fans and for him, he didn't respond properly. Okay, let's see it. The second round of our first fight, Nikita Merkulov versus Aziz Kadiv. Nice low kick, Nikita Merkulov continues mo to move. The crowd is shouting Aziz, Aziz. They want him to attack, they want him to go forward, to do something. And again, Nikita Merkulov shows a very good footwork. He doesn't stand in front of his opponent. Whoa, that was pretty nice. A right hook by Nikita Merkulov, but he didn't, he didn't make it, so to say. And again, another takedown attempt by Nikita Merkulov, and I guess it would be successful. But Aziz Kadiv wants to use a fence to get up. No, Nikita Merkulov doesn't allow this to happen. And I guess Nikita wants to get the full mount. Aziz defend himself with the leg. Nice position again for Nikita Merkulov. Referee wants the action in the octagon, and we agree with that. 
but still Merkulov continues to work. Nice elbow by Merkulov. Very nice. I remind you that these elbow strikes can cause a cut, and that's very severe. That, and, uh, that's why the fight can be stopped. It will be a technical knockout, but the referee didn't notice any activity. That's why he stopped the bout. We saw in the previous episode Aziz Khadiv's coach, and he told that uh, Aziz Khadiv has to work till the end. He has to show his character, his uh, will. Well, as far as we can see, that Aziz Khadiv doesn't have a good stamina. He has to push forward, but he doesn't have enough strength for that. Merkulov has done enough to win the very first round and to maybe to win the second one. Nice takedown by Merkulov. And again, guard control. Nice combination by Nikita Merkulov. These punches are not so strong. They cannot stop Aziz Khadiv, but still Nikita Merkulov shows his activity. He doesn't allow referee to uh, get back uh, this fight to the stands. And uh, we see a very, very unpleasant cut. As Aziz Khadiv's eye, that uh, is the reason why Nikita Merkulov has to continue to work with the elbows. Very nice work, a very nice control, and again, good elbow, good elbow by Merkulov. He shows activity again, right elbow from Nikita Merkulov, very nice. One minute and a half to go in the second round. Good elbow again, and again. I think Nikita Merkulov wants to finish his opponent, and he has enough time for that. Good elbow. Huge, strong elbows by Nikita Merkulov. Again. Aziz Khadiv just defended himself. He doesn't answer. One minute to go. Merkulov wants to finish it right here and right now, and he has a very good opportunity for that. No doubt. I think the referee is going to stop the fight. Aziz Khadiv doesn't defend himself. The fight is going to be stopped. Nikita Merkulov is going to finish it. He's going to make a TKO. And the referee, referee sees everything. And he says that it has to be an active defense. And it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. Nikita Merkulov wins. And uh, he earns the second professional victory. Well, we have to say that Aziz Khadiv went till the end. He tried, he didn't want to give up, but still, the referee did a very good, a very right thing. Because, uh, because he stopped this fight, Aziz Khadiv didn't defend himself, and that's why he stopped this fight. The main thing that referee should mention and you should think about, of course, is the health of the sportsman. And he has to see when the, start, when the fight should be stopped. And I think that was a very, very good and right moment for that. At the fight night tournament, the referees are real professionals. So, with a very good qualification. So. I think that was a very good moment, very proper moment to stop the fight. And we still proceed to congratulate Nikita Merkulov with, the, with this victory. Nikita! <laughs> And again, we congratulate Nikita Merkulov and we say that 